Hello students, welcome to Lucky Learning. Here in this video, I am going to discuss most frequently asked question in your university exams that is memory reference instructions. More specifically in the university exams, they are giving list of some of the memory reference instructions and will ask you to write the micro operations for those instructions. Here I am going to discuss the total memory reference instructions in detail and we know that the memory reference instructions decoding output will be d0 to d6 and mode bit will be 0 for direct address and 1 for indirect address. The opcode is 0 to 6 or the decoding signal will be 0 to 6 are used to select the memory reference instructions. The effective address of the instruction is in address register and was placed there during the timing signal T2 in the case of decoding when I equal to 0 or during timing signal T3 in the case of indirect address. And memory cycle is assumed to be short enough to be completed in a CPU cycle. The execution of these instructions starts at timing signal T4. And what are the seven memory reference instructions called AND to accumulator, ADD with accumulator, LOAD from memory into accumulator, STORE accumulated data into memory, BRANCH unconditionally so that address register values should be stored into PC. So the next instruction should be the BRANCH instruction. BSA it is called branch and save return address so that it requires to store the return address into some memory location and branch to the service routine and we have the seventh instruction increment and skip if zero memory contents that is going to be incremented here in this case memory contents are incremented if the incremented value becomes zero then it is going to skip the next instruction by incrementing the PC. We will see the micro operations for each of the memory reference instructions. First one, AND to accumulate. It performs the AND operation on the pairs of the bits in accumulator and the memory word specified by the effective address. And the micro operations for this instruction includes read from the memory word the data that is stored into the data register. Next, the implicit register is called accumulator. We also call processor register contents and data that is read from the memory between them it requires to perform end operation. The result is stored into accumulator. Then sequence counter is set to zero to continue with the next instruction to start generating the timing signal T0 for fetch instructions. And to accumulator, it is to perform add operation on the pairs of bits in the accumulator and the contents of the memory word specified by the effective address. First it requires to read the memory word stored into data register and then perform addition of accumulator with data register value store the result into accumulator and addition may cause us a carry output that will be stored into the E flip flop then sequence is set to zero to continue with the next instruction. Load to accumulator. It is to transfer the memory word specified by the effective address to accumulator. It means the memory word is copied into data register. Then the data register value stored into accumulator then sequence counter is set to zero to continue with the next instruction. STA store accumulator stores the contents of accumulator into memory word specified by the effective address. Means accumulator contents are stored into memory at the address location that address is there in the AR register we call address register. Then sequence is to be set to 0. Fifth one bun branch unconditionally which is going to transfer the program control to the instruction specified by the effective address. Allow specifies 
instruction out of the sequence. It means program branches or jumps unconditionally. How it is going to jump the address value stored into PC so that next instruction to be executed is there in the address register that value stored into PC. So next instruction to be executed is the target instruction. Then sequence is to be set to 0. Then sixth one is called BSA. It is most frequently asked. Branch and save return address. This instruction is useful for branching to a portion of the program called subroutine or we call processor. When executed BSA instruction, it stores the address of the next instruction in sequence, which is available in PC into a memory location specified by the effective address. In which location that return address is to be stored, it is to be specified in the effective address of that instruction. So that the next instruction address which is available in the PC to be stored into the memory at the effective address location, then that address location is going to be incremented it assuming that the immediate next instruction will be the uh, processor address and that processor address is to be stored into the PC so that next instruction to be executed is the subroutine or processor. Then sequence is to be set to 0. When in the case of subroutine call or processor call, the control has to be transferred. So for that, it requires to generate a computer instruction called BSA. BSA instruction performs the operation or function referred to as subroutine call. The indirect bun, indirect bun instruction at the end of the subroutine performs the function referred to as subroutine. Assuming this is a memory and computer is currently executing the 20th instruction. This 20th instruction is there in the IR register and the, its next instruction address is available in the PC because currently it is executing 20th instruction. Its next instruction is 21 that is available in the PC. Assuming 20th instruction is a subroutine call, it is calling the function that is available in the 135th location so that this 135th location is address of the instruction is to be copied into AR register. Now AR register is pointing to 135 and from 136 location assuming there is a subroutine at the end of the subroutine we have an indirect bun so that when subroutine is completed again it should jump to 135 location in that 135 location we have stored the return address that's why we can call it is indirect bun the return address 21 is to be stored so that the pc should be updated back with 21 so that it continue with the next instruction now this is a content of memory pc and ar before the execution now look at what happens whenever uh, the BSA instruction is to be executed. The return address PC is to be stored into the memory at address part of the instruction. That address part of the instruction is to be stored into AR. That AR is now representing 135. It means the return address 21 to be stored into the 135th location. Correct? It is to be stored into the 135th location. Then the PC should be updated with AR plus 1 so that it is going to execute the subroutine. At the end of the subroutine, what we have? Indirect bun. The indirect bun consisting of 135, it is branch unconditionally so that this effective address is copied into PC. But this is not the effective address because it is an indirect one. It should go to 135th location. In the 135th location, what was there? 21 is there. Now, this 21 is to find the effective address. This effective address then copied into PC so that after execution of this subroutine, the program continue with the 21st instruction. Right? This is the clear understanding of BSA, branch and save return address. And the seventh instruction is ISZ, increment and skip if zero. 
it is going to increment the word specified by the effective address. If the incremented value is equal to 0, PC is incremented by 1. How when value is incremented, it is going to become 0? It is possible in the case of negative numbers. And negative numbers are going to be represented in the two's complement form. So what are the micro operations? Read the data from the memory stored into data register. The data value is going to be incremented and that incremented value stored back to memory and check that incremented value is 0 or not. If it is 0, then it is going to skip the next instruction. Skipping the next instruction is possible simply by incrementing the PC because PC always stores the address of the next instruction. The next instruction is address is incremented means the immediate next instruction after the current instruction is going to be skipped. These are the seven memory reference instructions. Now we will see the flowchart for the memory reference instructions. These memory reference instructions are going to be executed at timing signal T4. We will start with end. What it will do? Read the memory word from memory into data register at timing signal D4, T4 and in T5 timing signal it has to perform end operation. Then sequence is to be set to 0. Add, it requires to read from the memory stored into data register then perform addition. Addition may gives you carry output that will be stored into E then sequence is to be set to 0. Load accumulator, read from the memory stored into data register then from data register, it should store into accumulator. Store accumulator. It requires to store accumulator value into the memory at the specified address in the address register. Bun, branch unconditionally. That effective address is going to be stored into PC so that it branches unconditionally to the target instruction. BSA, branch and save return address. Return address will be stored into the memory at location specified by AR. Then AR is going to be incremented assuming the immediate next instruction is a processor. Then it requires to store that AR value into PC so that next instruction to be executed is the processor instruction or subroutine instruction. Then ISZ, it is going to increment and skip F0, read the memory word into data register then data register value gets incremented then it has to check the incremented value is 0 if it is 0 then PC gets incremented so that it skip the next instruction parallelly the incremented value will be stored into the memory at the address location these are seven memory reference instructions and their micro operations hope you have understood this memory reference instruction clearly if you like the video do like share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon for your regular updates thank you